Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Ivan Cabrera back with us, and I believe Ivan said it's going to be steamy up until Sunday when the Dolphins Yikes. play, right? Up until Sunday, <laughs> uh, and in fact, uh, that continues into the weekend. We'll talk about uh, the big walk coming up on Saturday. It's going to be a steamy one. So we still have this disturbance in the uh, Gulf of Mexico waiting for uh, reconnaissance data from the Hurricane Hunters. Not expecting much here just because that front is so nearby. This is going to crash into it, and for us, it's just going to be a big rainmaker over the next few days. For the rest of this evening, relatively quiet on rain tracker, just a couple of showers that will be pushing uh, towards the East, but these will be far and few between conditions not quite favorable yet for showers and storms. That's going to change big time tomorrow as that same front begins to lift to the north as a warm front, and that's going to pump in all the tropical moisture and the potential record heat that I think begins in earnest heading into Thursday. We'll have highs in the low to mid 90s. It's going to feel like the triple digits. In fact, it's going to feel like about 105 to 110, and that's going to set up the potential for some heat advisories. Yes, then we turn drier. Still hot Friday and Saturday, but the key will be showers and storms will not be as capable of producing the heavy downpours that I'm thinking as we head into uh, tomorrow. In fact, uh, we'll roll this uh, through uh, the afternoon hours. You'll be able to see this kind of filling in and it doesn't look as widespread, but the thing is these storms will be developing in a very tropical environment, so they'll be capable of putting down significant amounts of rain in a short amount of time. So we'll watch that closely. Got another cluster moving in through Wednesday night before things then begin to quiet down, not completely shutting down rain chances into a Friday. So there's that disturbance for the rest of the tropics were pretty quiet, but I just want to show you rain tracker here as it picks up that moisture. Notice the heaviest of the rain will be pulling up to the Florida panhandle here across the Big Bend area. For us, I st we still get into some showers and storms, just not that steady heavy rain that they're going to deal with. In fact, several inches of accumulation before we get rewarded from north to south here with this front that is still on schedule for arrival as we head into next week. We'll be looking at temperatures dropping uh, likely into the 60s, so that's going to feel nice and comfortable. Look at the feels like temperatures for a Friday and then we push ahead to next week. This is for Wednesday morning with overnight temperatures perhaps dropping into the mid 60s. There's still, you know, some question marks as far as how cool we'll get, but I'm feeling pretty good about 60s for uh, the middle part of next week for overnight temperatures. There are your highs and then as we head through the next few days, uh, first of all, of course, Saturday is at uh, the big walk. I happen to know the MC uh, this year. Uh, Lauren Frasano will be there at 7 a.m. with registration. Look at these temperatures though mid to upper 80s but I want you to pay attention to the feels like Lauren and everybody else attending on Saturday it's going to feel like about 101 by the time we get into 11 o'clock so plan to hydrate and to keep yourself uh, in and out of the shade as you can there are the rain chances coming down hot temperatures and then the big cool down for next week highs in the low 80s with overnight lows in the 60s